All right, Shalom, Ram, Shalom. Ram. I want to start out by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Quadash, Laiwal, Yum. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom Ram to the elect, the ones out there who are doing this work diligently and constantly, chiefly keeping the faith. I'm making your calling and your election sure. I'm going to get right into it. Um, what's on my spirit is to talk about how, you know, you can't let your sins weigh you down in this thing, man. You know, you can't let your sins weigh you down because if you do, you are you automatically out. You know, you you automatically out. You you should, you know, throw in the towel right now if you're letting your sins weigh you down. You know, because at the end of the day, man, we still are alive. If you still got oxygen in your lungs, if you're breathing, you could throw up a praise to your how about Shimmy Shai and keep it moving. You know, we, we are not perfect, man. All right. We are striving to become perfect in the blood of Yahweh Shai. You know, this is what we're doing, man. We're striving to become perfect. I want to become perfect. You know, I want to be perfect in, in the will and the power of the Lord, man. Okay. Hey, man, you got a lot of people out here, you know, following their own wills, you know, speaking on Chief Ephraim and Naquam, you know. They following their own wills and not following the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. But ultimately, I must say, this truth tell us that either on the left hand side or or on the right, everybody follow the will of the Lord. You know, the ones who are distracted, they're following the will of the Lord. The ones who are awakened, they're following the will of the Lord. You know, because it's all ordained. So them going up there Saturday, it's ordained to happen to actually you know be an example now if they don't go up there of course the lord has you know um um you know took it away from them and they were able to repent you know it's, it's all up to the lord's doing man this is all to usher in the kingdom of heaven okay yeah it's, it's not circumspect to go back you know but through all the ample warning if they go back they're going to be made an example Okay, they're gonna be made an example, man. You know, you can't let your sins hold you back. You can't let the the pride hold you back from seeing that you need repentance. You know, you can't let pride hold you back from feeling shame. All right, the shame is there; it's needed for you to turn back to the Lord. Okay, that's what shame is about, man. And um, you know. I find myself constantly being ashamed daily for my actions and for my thoughts and things like that. You know, we, this body, this flesh is wicked. And the scriptures tell us, you know, the, the flesh is a, is weak, but the spirit is willing. So you got to utilize the spirit as, uh, you know, as much as you can, you know. Hey, the Lord, you know, sent the devil to try Job. And he has also sent the devil to try us, man. Okay, we're no different. All right. Hey, man, you got to stay the course, man. This is not going to be no long lesson. This is uh, a quick, straight to the punch, man. You know, uh, stay strong, man. Stay enduring and don't follow goofy men. Don't follow super tough and proud men, man. You know, because they're going to fall every time. If your strength is not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, if your strength is not order and, and being righteous to the best of your ability even though our righteousness is counted as filthy rags if you're not trying out here to follow the law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability you are going off and the lord is going to destroy you you know what i'm saying you part of the two-thirds ultimately and lord willing i'm not a part of that number you know hey man i'm filthy man i i, I see the sins that i do daily man and i try my hardest to uh to not do you know i try my hardest to repent you know I do that. I do, you know, you got to do that, man, daily because you sin daily. So that means you got to do what? Do the work of the Lord daily, man, by by working on yourself, by, you know, doing your videos, by praying, by, you know, uh, uh, dwelling in the spirit because it's easy to be in the flesh. The flesh is, is, is natural in this world, you know? All right. It's the spirit that's, that's you know, um, um, different than this place, man. 
okay? And we trying to be more in the spirit day by day, okay? Hey, Asmodeus, that demon, man, like to come in, you know, try try um, husbands and wives, man. And, you know, I can safely say that demon has been on me for, you know, uh, for about a day or two, man, you know, and I'm trying to get him off by, you know, intermediate fasting and things like that. I believe, you know, he left. Um, but Asmodeus, man, is real, man. Asmodeus is there to cause strife between husband and wife. And, you know, ultimately killed. That's what he did with um, Tobias' uh, wife, right? He killed everybody who wasn't, Tobi who wasn't Tobias. All right? You know, so all these demons, man, that are out here, man, they are real. And they cause people to do things that they wouldn't and that they would never do. All right? The Lord has set out spirits for vengeance. And and if, if you want protection from that, you got to fear the Lord and keep his commandments to the best of your ability. All right. You you see these people out here on today. They doing uh, Halloween festivities. You know, they do, doing door knocking, going door to door and stuff like that. Hey, man, this is not the spirit to be in. All right. I seen a dude when I was taking my brother to work. I seen this dude, a grown ass man in a, in a big teddy bear costume. You know, it's, it's just... It's just vexing, man, in this place, man. I just couldn't help but laugh at the fact that he he thought it was a good idea to come outside in a big teddy bear costume, you know? Hey, Jake is finished. And if he wasn't, Jake Esau is finished, man. Okay, this, this whole entire place is finished. So what manner of man, what manner of woman should you be? And the scriptures tell you what? He that watereth, watereth himself. So this video is for me too as well, man. Hey, the scriptures is a two-edged sword. So, uh, you know, you got to be careful, you know, because you will get cut right right along with you, um, with the person who who's feeling it from your message, you know. And you know, I can safely say, man, you know, this truth is, is, is painful, you know, but it's a good pain that you need, like working out or, you know, like a uh, uh, massage and after, um, like a massage after a hard workout. You know, that's painful, but uh, it's needed. You know, it, it's just the pain that we need, man. All right. You need this pain in order to become better, in order to become wiser. All right. Hey, man, follow this truth up until the end. Don't follow goofy men into ditches, man. Don't follow the blind into ditches. And you got a lot of leaders out there leading the blind right into a ditch, man. Okay? I'm just thankful that, you know, the Lord has has brought me to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone, you know, who are actually operating in sound doctrine. Okay? You got these, these, these startup camps and these people who never followed any order, right? They went these people went and and sought after one camp until they got their feeling, and then they went and sought after another camp until they got their feeling, and then they left they left those camps and started their own stuff. That's what Watchmen for Israel did, man. All right, you know they they started their own stuff under Naquam, right? The the precept the precept goal, right? <laughs> but he has no no actual understanding of what he's reading, you know. So is uh, Chief Ephra, man. You you know he's a ghoul, man. All right, he 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 he's reading these scriptures, but completely dead or brain dead. It's a lot of dry bones still in the valley. Okay, the Lord only woke up the elect when he sent us when he when he uh, ro rose those bones up, man. Only the true prophets, the elect, are the ones who have this truth and sincerity. This hundred percent truth, man. All right, everybody else steal bones. They're ghouls. They're they're zombies. All right, and then you got a lot of people who are just parrots. All right, that guy that was in Chicago that was on the mic, he sounded like Naquam. I'm not even going. I'm not even uh, trying to be funny. I'm not lying. He has the spirit of Naquam on him. He doesn't even have his own spirit. You see, the, these these other camps, man, they they don't have no individuality as far as you know. The, the faith, they don't show the faith 
that the Lord gave them. They they actually reciting and rehearsing the mannerisms and uh, and the countenance of Nakwam. Okay. All right, now, nah, man. And this thing, man, you gotta you gotta be true to yourself, completely transparent, and you have to utilize the 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 spirit and the faith that the Lord gave you. Okay. You can't try to you try to mimic anybody else you got to do your thing in this truth that the lord called you for you understand you know so hey man you know stay enduring man stay stay keeping the faith and don't follow wicked men to do wicked deeds all right we already got enough wickedness in our own lives that we have to fight we already got these chains of darkness that, that we're fighting on a day-to-day -day basis man you don't need to add no more to your plate okay Stay strong, Yasharala, and be careful of the stumbling blocks that are out there because they the stumbling blocks are meant for you to fall. And if you do, you are meant to fall. If you do, you are meant to be about this thing because you were never a part of the elect. Okay? So shalom, Yasharala. On to the next one. I'm going to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak, Khwadaj. Double honors once again to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, the ones out there who are doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure, man. Hey, don't let your sins weigh you down. Don't let your iniquities lift up themselves. All right. That's what they want to do. It's our job through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai to repent and keep it moving. All right. Hey, man, utilize the spirit. Follow the spirit and don't follow carnal, despicable men. All right. Don't do that. Yashirali, you got to utilize the scriptures, man. All right, Shalom. On to the next one.